Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Hearts of Iron for The Great War. Indeed, and we are now in the brand new expansion with the mod having been updated to to uh, to work with the Together for Victory expansion. There seemed, uh, there seemed like no good reason to not uh, upgrade to the next level. You know, take take this whole war to the next level. Anyway, um, things are going interestingly. Um, this area is still an absolutely abysmal mess and I really do want to fix that. Uh, there's a bunch of unread stuff. What what outdated equipment is in production? The pre-dreadnought? Sweet. Well, at least I get notified of this now, right? Like, that's, that's quite nice. 606 days of production? I mean... Oh, I get one in two days. I, I probably shouldn't like waste an entire. Yeah, 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 don't don't do that, ladies and gents. Like, don't waste almost the entire. Yeah, one. Wow. So we have one pre dreadnought now. Fantastic. One point nine seven years. Fuck my life, dude. What the fuck? Um, Poland's gonna get a bunch of states. That's fine. Is there any way that we can get more docks? I kind of want more docks actually. Yeah, it looks like we can get some docks. I'm gonna get some docks up in here. Okay, so the pre-dreadnought was one of the things, and the Junkovitz, this one, all right. Next level armored car, apparently. Um, I mean, it doesn't particularly matter anyway, because we're still in, uh, in, in, in deficit of armored cars, so it doesn't particularly matter what the hell is built to replace them. But obviously, the annoying thing about switching over is that, uh, you lose a little bit of that efficiency bonus, which is uh, kind of a little bit annoying, but hey-ho. All right, things are going well in Europe. Well, as well as they can be. Not not too much to uh, to expect. Uh, we're not losing political power now, or we are losing political power? I, well, no, we're gaining political power. That's good, but it's still bugged, and it's still telling us that we are, uh, we are losing a, a, a very, very large amount of political power. And indeed, for the longest time, we were losing a shit ton. Um, wh what the hell are we actually doing? We've got, uh, oh, we're staging a coup in Greece. Which is going to take literal years. Oh, it's actually oh, it's a daily increase of five political power. That's that's kind of that's kind of good actually. That, I didn't realize it was that much. I probably should have paid attention a little bit more, but yeah, whatever. Who gives a shit anyway? It's just Greece, right? Yeah. So a lot of annoying shenanigans going on. It looks like we can't really make progress, but it looks like we've uh, managed to take back our borders, which is lovely. Um. Oh, look, diplomacy incoming, land lease action. That That's a no, that's a no for me. Can I improve relations? I would love to do that, actually. I don't know if, I don't know if they're ever gonna accept me as a decent guy, but hey ho. Uh, close air support production really isn't in production at all. We do need to get all this shit sorted out. I mean, we're in quite a dodgy place in terms of support equipment. I mean, we really need more support equipment, right? Like, that's... This has been a priority for the longest time. We are just sitting here with, you know... I guess I'll put you on high equipment priority so that we can actually get some stuff done. I was sitting there thinking... We just we just need military police, right? We just straight up need them. Like, we can't... We can't, you know, dilly-dally anymore. Let's just get some fucking military police down. I gave I gave the game a chance. I gave you the game a chance to catch up and to 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 build all that good stuff, but uh, unfortunately, it just didn't work. All right, let's get let's get everything merged up over here. Um, do we have oh, Grant? Uh, well, let's get you to come into the port. There we go, and I want you to come into the port as well, because I want to get everyone, you know, just sort of teamed up. Merged together, I think is the proper uh, is the proper term. Fuck me, Serbia is back in town, and that is annoying. That is a massive, massive pain in the ass, because fucking Serbia was a bitch to take over in the first place. Uh, France is attacking us and having not very much success, which is, which is grand. Uh, we are slowly but surely hammering into Europe, which is which is quite nice. I think I'm actually going to stop these guys from attacking because, you know, as much as it is as it is nice, I, I feel that we're not making we're not making the largest amount of progress over here. Also, we could probably just get you and combine these two armies together. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? I mean, you've got a whole bunch of good shit, right? 
Yep. So, that army, we've got rid of that army. The enemy is stronger. Yeah, let's just stop attacking. There's no, there's no reason to push the issue anymore. Let's just, you know, defend up and, uh, and get ourselves into a better position before we, uh, before we go any further. Uh, you guys, I'm kind of okay with these guys also just taking a little bit of a chill pill. However, over here, we, we cannot do that. We are, we're very, very, very much uh, involved at war, and we need to, we need to maintain uh, at least some presence over here. Deploy units. Oh, we haven't set a location for the military police to spawn? I'm sure I did, but whatever. Uh, we need to have a little look at the resistance map mode, which should give me a little bit of a... A little bit of a peek at uh, exactly what is going wrong with our country. Okay, so there is some troops over there. Although, military police are going to need to be stationed. Can I not keep this map mode open? Grand. Apparently, I cannot. Well, we'll head people out there and get that fixed up pronto style, but... Now that we're actually dedicating the proper equipment to military police, I don't think military police are going to be uh, in too short a supply, so to speak. Uh, we're going to put this to one, so we're no, we're not going to train any more troops after this. After this, it's done. Uh, military police numbers should be fine. After that, we're probably just going to go back to saving our manpower and also, uh, you know, keep an eye on, keep an eye on training some more, some more troops for the future. But we don't have very much manpower at the moment, which is. Which is less than ideal. I think we're actually uh, we're actually we're actually on limited conscription. Holy shit! We should probably um, bump that up. We're only on two point five percent, so service by requirement would be um, would be pretty good. Would be pretty fucking good. Although we do need a lot of political power for that, and uh, that's that's a, that's a little bit of a while away. Um, although we do actually, I think we get manpower from from this thing. Yeah, we get a hundred thousand. Good stuff. I'll take that. That's good enough for me. That is absolutely good enough for me. Can we just win something, please? Can we just, like, win this entire area? Because I just don't want to worry about it. Submarine, you need to come to here. 52 boats. I tell you, that's, that's impressive. That is impressive. That's an impressive number of boats. Not like... I know what to do with boats, but whatever. I'm going to say that they're impressive, because I think that they look impressive, but who knows. Wow, Serbia is unbelievably uh, winning in terms of taking a lot of land, but... I mean, the Serbian lands are, like, over here, so I guess it doesn't really count, but whatever. Um, okay. Let's make sure everybody gets over here. And fingers crossed, it should be... Romania has capitulated. That is that is grand. It's not going to make it any easier, but it should be fine. All right, that's going to be reducing. Perfect. You guys are going to get to over here. Take a little bit of a chill pill. Okay. Uh, which which is the guy that's moving forward? Uh, whatever. Go to there. You know what? I, I don't care. Okay. Someone like that. I guess that might be uh that might be good enough. I mean, we're going to get it under control. It's just a matter of when, right? Resistance is actually 0% over here. Sweet. That's good. And just like that, we've managed to pretty much control this entire this entire area. Yo, 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 yo. I mean, it's not, it's not completely fixed yet, but it's, uh, it's, it's actually going remarkably fast. Uh, you, I think, are going to head over to, is it Belgrade that the issue is? It is actually Belgrade. So, yeah, you'll get head over here, and that'll be grand. Uh, that should resolve very, very quickly. And look at this, would you, would you just look at this? This is, uh, a, a fantastic opportunity to merge our two armies together. Grand, grand, grand. And finally, there is there is one united offensive, which is which is fantastic. 
Uh, we've also got the spearhead uh, tactic now, which is quite nice. I don't quite know how... There's a way to say it. Doesn't, doesn't, probably doesn't really work like that. Is that going to work? Let's do it. Let's equip it. Let's see if it works. We're going to spearhead. So I guess the difference between the spearhead and the normal attack one, which they're not equipped to, they're not attacked to the spearhead right now. Um, we'll let them, we'll let them shake around a little bit first. Uh, I guess the difference between the spearhead and the normal one is that with the normal one, we just like all sort of bum rush it at the same time. Uh, breakthrough would be lovely for that, I guess. But it looks like spearhead is just like, boom. Whereas the other one is, or where the, the, the classic one is a lot more cash. Hey, does Poland exist now? No, but they should have a... There we go. Poland is a core state now. Very, very cool indeed. Got a little bit of manpower. Can't really complain about that. Uh, we don't have the continuous... Whatever you call it. Continuous... Oh, you know, we do. Tell a lie. Tell a lie. Free repair. I don't really care about any of this nonsense, actually. Construction engineering, naval production. Don't really give a shit about any of that. I'm going to build dockyards. Fuck it. And then we're also going to take another little look at our resistance map mode. And you can see that things are actually going relatively smoothly over here. And we'll put you in Kiev. Part of the pro part of the, the, the great thing is, is that we've got so many German troops in this area that it um, that it's actually okay. Uh, we've got a... We, you know, we're, we're repressing a hell of a lot of people, so. Daily resistance growth is a little bit too high over there, so I'm going to try and fix that. You can get a, another person. We'll get you to come to Odessa. Why not? Low manpower? I, I don't want to think about that. Serbia? Yes. Uh, did we not get our chap to come to Serbia? Did we not have our one guy coming to Serbia? I'm sure I sent one guy to Serbia. Maybe he just never got there. Maybe he... Oh, no. Here he comes. Here he comes. He is coming. My bad. Sorry. I mean, we're going to need people for this region anyway, so there's there's no particularly big deal. Uh, are we ready to go for the breakthrough? The big breakthrough one? Let's do it. Let's see what, let's see what happens. I've never done this before. I have no idea what a breakthrough does. Or the spearhead, even. Whatever you call it. Aggressively try to take all provinces. Okay. I mean, sure. I'll aggressively try to take all the provinces. That that absolutely works for me. All right, that's good. You guys are just chilling out over there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, let's get you guys all combined and search and destroy in this sea. Perfect. Bunch of naval battles that I don't really care about because I don't really want to care about that stuff, but whatever. Anyway, um, wow, this, this whole spearhead business seems to be going absolutely swimmingly. This is really good. I'll take it. I'll take it. If I could get that stuff more often, then that would be, uh, that would be great. Alright, but resistance should now be well and truly under control. Daily resistance growth is minus 5%, so that's fine. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Um, I mean, we've got troops on the German border, on the German-Russian border. German-Russian border. The Austro-Hungarian-Russian border anyway, so um, I, I figure that we don't really need any resistance things over there. Uh, wants to send 14 divisions. I'm going to decline that because you're, you know, you're getting fairly conquered yourself, buddy. You kind of need to focus your efforts a little bit, you know, just to make you aware of that. There's a little bit of a flaw there. Our manpower is literally draining away as we watch. Nope, there is no way for us to call Italy into the war. Which sucks fucking hard. Alright, you chaps. It's fortified. Plan is estimated to be risky. Should we try another one of these 
bad boys. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. Let's give it a crack. Let's give it a crack. I presume there's gonna be a little bit of moving around first. And then, we hopefully will be ready to execute the plan. I'm gonna say aggressively. We're gonna put this on uh, aggressive here in terms of executing the battle plans. Why? Because we can. Because we can. All right, we just take another little look at resistance. I mean, this is fine. Oh, that's that's not fine. Why are submarines spawning over here? I don't <laughs> like. I love the fact that we're building submarines. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't fucking get me wrong. But like, don't don't spawn them over there. Spawn them over. Spawn them over here. Spawn them over in Zara. Yes, where they're much more useful to me. Uh, we're... Th sure, go there. Are we winning these battles? I hope we are. Because my logic here is, is that if we have loads of ships in this area, then no one else is going to be able to have ships in this area. Not like I really know what I'm fucking doing, but I just go with the flow, you know? That's how I roll. Yo. Anyway, this whole this whole breakthrough business looks uh, looks to be very very successful in my humble opinion. Are we finished with a little reorganization over here? Divisions still preparing. Some divisions not in position. I mean, I don't see anyone not in position. Everyone looks quite in position to me. Oh, apart from that one chap. Is he the one division that's not in position? That would be fucking embarrassing, I tell you that. That would be mortifying. If you were that one guy who had to walk halfway across France. Yeah, inferior enemy, which is always nice. I do love to see that. Um, how are we looking? We all looking, we all looking pretty good. Current fight strength, 38%. Could be better. It could be better. Support equipment is uh, in a little bit of a short supply, but whatever. Uh, let's go for it. I'm going to execute the plan. We're going to give it a, a a damned good shot. This could end up leading to the death of millions of poor, poor Austrian people. But I believe. I believe. I guess we'll just have to see how effective it ends up being. My guess... Not very. Not very. It could lead to the to the destruction of our forces, but that's okay. You know, that's a that's a price that I'm willing to pay because it's 1918 and we still have yet to capture France. Wow, fuck me. Greece is a mega pain in the ass. Mega 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 pain in the ass. Like what a fucking dick, eh? What a fucking dick. Yeah, we're not winning a single one of these border conflicts. Except maybe this one. Oh, we got a decryption advantage. Fan fucking tastic. No, we can't. Oh well, I guess. Well, two points. Two points in the entire line. That's that's absolutely not worth it. Like that's just not. That's just not worth it. For like, no, it's simply not worth it. Like we're much better going for the offensive line and just taking a little bit of a chill pill. There's no reason to just throw our manpower at that. I mean, we lost like 100k manpower just then, just you know, going for that very aggressive push. So I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that in the future, I suppose. Well, I probably will do that in the future. I'm a bit of an idiot, as you know, but uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not that concerned. Ultimate Empire is capitulated. Yeah, that that ain't that ain't fantastic. Also, uh, experience is capped at 500, so we just lost like 490, 499 actually. Not like it particularly matters, but hey-ho. Uh, we've almost taken back all of the German core states, which is quite nice. It's not enough, but it's a good start. Uh, Germany has become remarkably much more effective. Um, still maintaining a massive, massive, massive... Um, massive force on the border, though. You're at war with everyone. I mean, they're not, they're not with us. The Soviet-Russia war. 
yeah, okay, I guess that's kind of okay, but like Why don't you just join join us join the join the Germans and the whoever the Austrians that's that's who we are Join the Germans and the Austrians you can't go wrong with a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun Like we could help you out in fact. I'm pretty sure I already give you military access uh, Sure defensive bunker whatever in fact, I'm 100% I'm sure that I almost, I already uh, give you military access. Yeah, and you're still not coming to fight on the front lines. There we go. We may now move troops within their border. Doesn't really matter for anything, but maybe it'll make it a little bit easier for them to get to where they want to go. Can't leave the faction when we're in a war. That's a little bit of a shame. Ottoman Empire. Really fucking it up for us. Really, really fucking it up. You know, good, good style Ottomans right there. Like, that is, that is fucking fantastic. Infrastructure effort. Sure, let's get infrastructure effort. Why not, eh? Uh, insufficient resources. We need a little bit of steel. Trade a little bit more with Germany. Let's do it. We're finishing off the conflict in the Balkans for like the hundredth time, which is... Really really great super super excited not to have that hanging over my head as we go forward How do the German Empire have territory over here? I, you know don't get me wrong. I'm very happy that you do but like that's just a little bit ridiculous That's just a little bit ridiculous oh, You're looking cool. You're black and white. Wow, you're black and white in real life. That's that's kind of bonkers. I didn't I didn't know that back in the olden days people only uh, people only saw in black and white. That's pretty crazy I mean surely they could have like I don't know done something about the photo made it an actual photo I I fuck I just don't know why Italy isn't involved in this war like it would have changed the war so dramatically Think about all of the manpower that they could have thrown at the enemy Think about it. Think about the men Think about it. I don't know why I researched that plane, but why not? Um, anyway, the Germans seem to be doing a damned good job in uh, in that area. Avitak birds. Is that this one? Yeah, it's this one. Now we can get you. Perfect. And fingers crossed that we can uh, maintain production. It looks like, in terms of construction anyway, we're pretty much back up to full military factory strength. Uh, after that, we're going to start construction of a plethora a plethora I tell you of brand new military factories that uh, that will be the brand new thing in this country very very convinced that military factories are the way forward here so we're gonna queue up a whole bunch so much so that our entire country is going to become overfilled with them well I say our entire country the country of Ukraine too because we we quite rightfully took that over I mean, you know, let's not talk about illegitimacy and, you know, taking that stuff over. It doesn't matter. We managed. It happens. Uh, we got a lot of civilian factories as well that we've got to, to back up our uh, our massive, massive construction campaign. It's going to take a long-ass time, but uh, I believe it is going to be successful. Anyway, ladies and gents, thanks very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Old Potato, and I'll see you next time. Bye.